Hello, everyone. Today, let's talk about glutathione. What is it? Why are we low? And how can we get our levels up with and without supplements? Let's talk about it. All right. So there's a lot of people that call glutathione the master antioxidant, and it's in more bodily processes than I can count. And it's extremely important. However, if you have autoimmune conditions like I do, lupus, Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, to name a few. There's many more we could name here. But if you have those autoimmune issues going on, you have inflammation that's constantly going on, or maybe you just have food sensitivities, whatever the problem is, your glutathione levels are probably low. Glutathione, among other things, helps us detoxify. So if we're constantly being bombarded by heavy metals or pesticides or inflammation from autoimmune conditions, then our glutathione stores are probably running pretty low. And glutathione is probably the second supplement that I checked into when I was trying to improve my health. The first one was vitamin D and I have a video about vitamin D. So if you're not supplementing vitamin D or you haven't had your vitamin D levels checked, check the vitamin D video before you start supplementing with glutathione. So glutathione is made in our bodies by our liver and it's actually made out of three different amino acids, glycine, cysteine, and glutamic acid. Those three amino acids make up glutathione. It is possible to have labs run so that you can check to see if your glutathione is running low. But if you don't want to take supplements, you can also raise your glutathione with diet and exercise. Now, not every diet or form of exercise is for everyone. For instance, if I went outside and ran a couple of blocks, I would have a full lupus flare and my glutathione levels would go down. So I say diet and exercise, but what I mean is the diet and exercise that's good for you. And that could be on any level and many different diets that work for different people. But some of the culprits that can help your glutathione go down, but even changing your diet and exercise sometimes isn't enough if you have an autoimmune condition. And glutathione is pretty important because it also helps in the functioning of our immune system. And if you're like me, your immune system isn't working correctly. Now, the two different forms of glutathione that I have tried is the reduced formula and the liposomal formula. The liposomal form helps us with absorption because as it turns out, glutathione is pretty hard for our bodies to absorb. Because it's harder to absorb, I prefer the liposomal glutathione that is in liquid form. And I, in particular, either always use Clair Labs or Pure Encapsulations if they have the liposomal form. I learned most of my information on glutathione from Dr. Ben Lynch. He has videos here on YouTube, and he also has a book called Dirty Genes. He is probably one of the most informed people that I've ever heard of about the subject of glutathione, how to use it, and how to use it to get the most benefits from it. So from Dr. Ben Lynch, I learned to try glutathione in extremely small amounts, and small amounts more often is way better than large amounts less often. I also learned that my body is extremely sensitive to glutathione. And if I took too large of amount, or if I take it too late in the day, I can't sleep at night. And some of the side effects can be headaches, nervousness, anxiety, to name a few. So if you want to start supplementing with glutathione, I do recommend the liposomal just because it's easier for us to absorb. And as people with autoimmune, some of our absorption and digestion is just not the way it used to be or the way that it should be. Now, I learned from Dr. Ben Lynch that you take little amounts, put it into your mouth and hold it. And what you're looking for is your brain fog to be lifted or your eyesight to get brighter or sharper. And he suggests that if you don't notice brain fog leaving or your vision getting better or sharper, 
then try another small amount. Now, going with Dr. Ben Lynch's advice, he does advise that if you don't see improvements or have steady gains, then you probably don't need glutathione. Or if you try glutathione and you had adverse reactions, like a headache right away or anxiety, you may need a different form. And he does have a website called seekinghealth.com and I'll put it in the description. And he has a very specific liposomal glutathione plus. With that particular formula, he has added in what is needed so that those of us that can't or don't tolerate glutathione well, can tolerate it with the plus version that he produces. Now for me, I have had some success with the supplement and seen some improvements when I go very, very slow with small amounts a little bit more frequently, and I can't take any of it after 12 o'clock, or it just leads to anxiety or nervousness, or I just can't sleep. Dr. Ben Lynch does mention that if you don't have brain fog or issues with your vision, even blurry vision, if you're not seeing any of those symptoms, you may not need glutathione. Or if you try to supplement with glutathione and you don't notice any marked improvements, you just might not need a supplement with glutathione. Now, for me personally, I did start supplementing with glutathione when I was early in my health journey. Today, I no longer supplement with glutathione and I'm doing really well without it. But if you're in a different part of your health journey, glutathione might help you. I know in the very beginning, it did help with brain fog. It did help my body detoxify, and it does help a lot of other processes. In the description, I'll leave a link to the brands of glutathione that I trust and any of the information that I put here in the video. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you're doing well.